Hi, and welcome to our latest video roundup. I'm Jason Palmer, and I'll be taking you through our favorite science videos from the last week. Finding a love interest isn't always easy, especially if you're a male blue crab. Sandrine Kustemann tells us about a groovy tactic that you use to attract potential mates. Their underwater habitat is full of rocks and seagrass, which tends to keep love interests out of sight. But males are no wallflowers. They've been observed dancing wildly in an apparent attempt to attract females. This sexy move creates a jet of pheromones that's wafted towards potential lovers. Biologists at Georgia State University found that when males and females shared a tank, a male would hit on a female within minutes. But when they were separated by a divider, the male used his funky arm actions. The movements created a current strong enough to send his scent up to one meter away. In the wild, males have been seen dancing even more energetically, arousing females hidden under rocks. Next, we have a simple way to simulate storms using straws and soap. Researchers at the University of Bordeaux in France have found a new way to model the turbulent conditions in Jupiter's great red spot. They carefully blew hemispherical soap bubbles which were heated from below. This caused warmer areas to rise and interact higher up on the bubble. The researchers found that the patterns formed were a realistic simulation of hurricanes. It should be possible to create your own soap storms at home, using a straw and soapy water at a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Finally, we have an insect that looks like it's having better luck with the flowers than with the ladies. Sandrine Kustemann takes up the story. This species of Australian tongue orchid can be just as alluring as a female. Male orchid dupe wasps are tricked by the flower's sweet perfume and dive into it. They're drawn to the base of the orchid and position their abdomen right next to the source of pollen. The male then starts to mate enthusiastically with the flower, and about 75% of the time, he will ejaculate. Researchers from Macquarie University took samples of the sticky substance that was left behind. Using a microscope, they confirmed that they were indeed a wasp's sperm cells. After the liaison, the wasp tidies himself up. He stumbles away carrying a delivery for the flower, a bright yellow bundle of pollen attached to his abdomen. The next time he's fooled into sleeping with an orchid, he will inadvertently pollinate the flower. Sexually deceptive orchids that cause insects to ejaculate have the highest rate of pollination. That's all for now, but for more science and technology stories, you can check out our website or read the magazine. See you next week.